Welcome to the Medical Staff Voice Live. I'm Dr. Stan Froswijk, Chief Medical Officer at Community Memorial Health System, and I'm joined today by Dr. Miriam Rangwala, specially in neurology. Welcome, Dr. Rangwala. So nice to have you here. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Well, we really appreciate you being here today because this is an opportunity for our medical community and our patients to learn about your practice. In order to do so, we have a few questions to help enlighten us and better understand what your specialty consists of. First of all, I'm interested, as is our community, in your background. Where are you from? Where did you train? So it's a little bit of a long story. I was born in Sri Lanka, but I'd never really lived there. My parents were living in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. So I grew up there till I was about 10 years old. And then my family moved to America. So I lived in Chicago for a while. And then we moved to Texas and now California. So keep moving west. That's the trajectory that I'm taking. Well, I hope you don't have to end up in Hawaii. We'd I, like to keep you. I, I'm thinking I'm staying here, <laughs> but the, you never know. It's also <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. Um, in addition to where you were trained, what areas in your specialty uh, are you involved with? Could you describe those a little bit? And uh, what ages do you treat? So as far as my training, I did my undergrad at the University of Texas in Austin, and then my medical training at uh, Texas Tech University in Lubbock, Texas. And then I did my residency in Los Angeles. So I did my internship, my neurology residency, as well as my fellowship at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles. So I understand that you have a particular interest in movement disorders. That's you know, we're kind of excited about that because we've been a desert lately in movement disorder neurology. We have wonderful neurologists, but their specialties are in other areas of neurology. Can you tell me a little bit about what does movement disorders refer to? Yes, and I'm so excited that everyone's so excited because I love seeing movement disorder patients. Um, that really is a passion of mine. Um, so I do see general neurology, so that encompasses headaches, stroke care, seizures, but then movement disorders is pretty much covers any type of abnormal movement. So that's either moving too fast or too slow. So we often talk about tremors that you might see in Parkinson's disease or essential tremors, as well as things like chorias and other abnormal movements, and dystonias, which are abnormal contractions or muscles and things like that. Does uh, multiple sclerosis fall in that arena? It doesn't actually. Although sometimes they have things like spasticity and dystonia so that we might you know, treat them for those reasons. Good to know. What are the procedures or techniques that you use to treat movement disorders? Yeah, so the main ones are Botox injections or botulinum toxin injections uh, that we use for both uh, spasticity, dystonia mainly, and then other indications like sialuria. There's a lot of other things. Migraine headaches is used for, for general neurology. And then um, for our dystonia and Parkinson's patients, it's deep brain stimulation, which is a very you know fascinating procedure. And when our patients reach that uh, point where their disease has progressed, that becomes an indication for them. So it's um, implantation of these electrodes in certain parts of the brain that we then can program and help control their symptoms. Well, that's an impressive advancement we've achieved. That's Absolutely. incredible. So in that area, do you treat uh, adults and children or you're predominantly with adults? Predominantly adults, yes. Excellent. Thank you very much. Where is your current practice located? So I'm currently with the Midtown Medical Group. Um, I'm there four days a week, as well as um, I'm starting in the Centers of Family Health at the Camarillo location and Arneal Road as well. Oh, how fortunate that both uh, west and east parts of the county will be able to access your care so readily. Yeah. Um, Midtown Medical Group, is that the one on Main Street? Yes, on Brent, on uh, 168 Brent Street. Oh, 168 Brent. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Well, um, now that we have an understanding of your areas of interest and specialization, uh, let's get a little understanding of your outside interests. Do you have any hobbies or any sports that you play or any musical instruments? I feel like people always have such interesting answers for this and mine, mine's gonna be boring. Um, I like to spend time with my family, make some popcorn, watch a movie. I hope that's not too boring, but I do enjoy doing that. I think that sounds <laughs> ideal. That's wonderful, <laughs> great. Um, now, in addition to that, 
we like to move one step lighter. And that extra step is called this or that. So that's the segment we're entering now. Now I want you to not be too conscious about this is a stream of consciousness effort. So just respond as simply as straightforward to the questions. Laundry or dirty dishes? Oh, laundry. I love doing laundry. It's like <laughs> relaxing for me to do laundry. Oh, so that's your meditation. <laughs> yeah. huh? Very good. Skydiving or bungee jumping? Ooh, I would say skydiving. I was mm -hmm. pretty close to almost doing it till my mom called and was like, stop, don't do it, don't do it. So. What a good daughter you are. <laughs> Phone calls or text messaging? Oh, text messaging. Fast, mm. to the point, yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Early bird or night owl? I think still night owl. Yeah, get more done, more productive. French fries or onion rings? Oh, French fries, <laughs> especially on call. You need to have French fries. Sounds perfect. Time machine or magic wand? That's a hard one. Mm hmm. Yeah. I guess Too magic good. wand would just be more fun to something silly. <laughs> Time machine seems like it would have too many implications. So. Uh, I share that sentiment. <laughs> Podcast or reading a book? I still like reading books, but I have to say there's been so many interesting podcasts now. And if you're in a long drive, it's very efficient use of time. So thank you. <laughs> Passenger or driver? Passenger. <laughs> and my husband likes to drive, so. Oh, good. perfect. Yes, it's the perfect combination. And finally, this is a, a, a tough one, a superpower. Be invisible or read minds. Ooh. Be invisible. Wow, okay. Could do some mischief with that. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds great. <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in to learn more about Dr. Miriam Ranguala. For more information on all the services and specialties offered at Community Memorial Health System, visit cmhshealth.org and be sure to like and subscribe for more from your community health system. Thank you, Dr. Rangwala. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. <laughs>